Hello and welcome to the Genius Solutions EHR Thomas and ICD-10 2015 edition webinar. This webinar will go over the following. Implementation dates, suggestions to help make your transition smoother, converting your ICD-9 codes to ICD-10 codes, selecting new ICD-10 codes, how to send ICD-10 charges from EHR Thomas to eThomas, and helpful links and resources. Important dates to remember are as follows. October 1, 2015. All patient notes and claims must have all diagnosis codes in ICD-10 format. Prior to October 1, 2015, diagnosis codes will still need to be in ICD-9 format. Please note that some insurance companies may or may not require ICD-10 codes. You must contact your carriers for more information. Suggestions to help make your transition smoother. Review the ICD-10 eThomas webinars. Please refer to www.geniussolutions.com for webinar information. Update route sheets with an ICD-10 crosswalk and include your top codes used in your office. Physicians and billers should work closely together to ensure that the appropriate code is selected for the patient's condition. Set up an appointment with Genius Solutions to transfer ICD-10 codes from eThomas to EHR Thomas. Update your eThomas and EHR Thomas programs to the most current versions to see these ICD-10 changes. You should be on version 9.5.08 for eThomas and for EHR Thomas version 2.0.10. Before we start, we will need to turn on a system setting. This system setting will default your condition tracking and patient note to show ICD-10 codes instead of ICD-9 codes. From the main screen, click on Code Files. Then click on System Settings. From here, we will need to search for ICD-10 Note Template in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Expand this area by clicking the drop down arrow and select Global On. Click Save. In order for the changes to take place, you must restart EHR Thomas. Converting your ICD-9 codes to ICD-10 codes. To attach an ICD-10 code to a pre-existing ICD-9 code, click on the Condition Tracking module. From here, click on the Pencil Edit button next to the appropriate ICD-10 box. A window will pop up and provide you with the suggested code list. From here, you can select the most appropriate ICD-10 code. You may also search within the suggested code list by using the search bar at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. After selecting your ICD-10 code, click OK. Selecting new ICD-10 codes inside of EHR Thomas. Genius Solutions recommends that users continue to enter in new ICD-9 codes into EHR Thomas until October 1st. There are two ways to add a new ICD-10 code to your patient's chart. Let's begin by clicking in the condition tracking module and clicking add. If you have your ICD-10 codes imported into EHR, unselect show ICD-9 codes and show SNOMED codes. You may now search for your code like you normally would. If you do not have your ICD-10 codes imported into the EHR program, or the ICD-10 code you are looking for is not in the database, click on Add New from ICD-10. This area has a complete list of all the ICD-10 codes. There are two ways the user can select a code through the code picker or through the search bar. Let's start with the code picker. This picker allows you to filter your ICD-10 codes from the most general to the more specific diagnoses. These boxes are your base codes broken up by categories. As you click through to find the code that you are looking for, you will notice that each level becomes more specific to the diagnosis you are looking for. On the right sidebar, there is information for the provider to review as he or she picks a code. 
These are guidelines from Medicare available to better support the code that you are choosing. Continue to click through the picker until your code turns green. Notice that there are some choices that have now been populated at the bottom left hand corner. If there are choices inside this box, you must indicate the appropriate seventh character for your code. Also, to go back to a previous screen, click on the area which you want to go back to. If you want to search for an ICD-10 code by description, you may do so in this area. Click the drop-down box to either search by description or by code. Let's continue clicking to reach our diagnosis code. Once you have reached the proper ICD-10 code, you will be able to click the green OK box. Once you have selected the diagnosis, click OK. It will add your ICD-10 code to the selected diagnosis. Click Next to add the diagnosis to the patient's chart. Now if you ever have to use that same code again for another patient, it will show up when you search in the main condition tracking module. How to send ICD-10 charges from EHR Thomas to eThomas? Before sending over charges from EHR Thomas to eThomas, a system setting must be turned on inside of eThomas to default ICD-10 codes on every claim. To do this, go into eThomas, click on Utility, select Settings, and then System Settings. Click on the plus button and double click in the red box and it will open a brand new window to add a system setting. Search for ICD-10 and select ICD-10 default. Type 1 in the value and click Save. When you are ready to send your charges over from EHR Thomas to eThomas, the Send Charges screen will show the claims line. You'll notice that the ICD-9 diagnosis codes will show up first, and then the ICD-10 codes will show up a little bit later if you keep scrolling. We can also edit this line to incorporate more information. We can add another ICD-10 code by selecting the magnifying glass, and then select our code. If our line looks good, click on Send to send your charge to eThomas. To see the charge that we just sent over from EHR Thomas, click on Billing and then select Auto Charge. This is the same line that was shown previously in EHR Thomas. Since we use several different methods to select our diagnosis code, we should check our line to ensure that our IC10 code is added into our eThomas database. Select the line that you want to check, and then click on Check Data. Okay. This screen will look at your data and show you what needs to be added or changed on your line. To add the IC10 code, click on the line itself, and then click on Add. It will pull up the IC10 master list, and then from here you can select your IC10 code and then import directly into your eThomas database. Click Yes to ensure that you are importing one code. We'll do the exact same thing for this code here. We'll click on Add. It will open up the IC10 master list. We'll select the code that we want to import, and then click on Import. Yes, we want to add another code, and then we'll exit out of here. After all your information is corrected, all we have to do now is click on Manual Charge to post the line. Select your line and make sure it shows Post. Then click on Post. Then you would add in all of your information like you normally would to post a claim here. Please refer to the following links and resources for more detailed information regarding ICD-10. CMS.gov and GeniusSolutions.com to see information regarding ICD-10 on the CMS website, click on Medicare and then scroll down until you see coding. If you click on the ICD-10 link here, it will bring you to their ICD-10 webpage. Here there is a lot of information regarding ICD-10. EHR Thomas also provides users with the ability to review resource links. Click on Reports and then click on Broadcast. Click on the most recent date on your screen 
and below it will provide you with resources regarding EHR Thomas and industry related items. Thank you for watching our ICD-10 webinar. If you have any questions, please call the EHR Thomas support line at 586-751-9080, option 7. We are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you again, and happy coding.